It's not too late until it is too late. I remember I once upon a time, I wanted to dance on a pole. And at the time, my husband was not in support of me doing that. Which is- Welcome to Unapologetically Fly, the podcast dedicated to giving you the tools, inspiration, and information you need to finally live for yourself, no matter the age, situation, or circumstance. I'm your host, Renee Mitchell Simpson, the self-love and happiness coach and founder of Well Diva Lifestyle and Travel, the premier luxury wellness travel sisterhood for the flyest of aunties. Now get ready to ride along on my journey of reinvention, even at this big age, because sis, I need you to know, it truly is never too late to fly. And by fly, I mean finally live for yourself. Today I want to talk about embracing freedom by unapologetically living for yourself. For those who may not know, Juneteenth is a celebration of freedom and a pivotal moment in our history. On June 19, 1865, Union soldiers arrived in Galveston, Texas to announce the end of the Civil War and the freedom of all enslaved people. A whole two and a half years after Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Juneteenth was the first victory in our ongoing fight for equality. Today we want to reflect on what freedom means for black women. As we continue in our fight for equity, we're still seeing things like the recent ruling that denied fearless funds the opportunity to support black women entrepreneurs. Fearless Fund is a black woman owned corporation whose mission was recently suspended. From their website, our mission is to bridge the gap in venture capital funding for women of color founders, building scalable growth aggressive companies. So in other words, they're just trying to help us catch up. We are still 159 years after the first Juneteenth trying to catch up. So while you're having your barbecue and slapping dominoes and Uno cards and doing the electric slide, let Juneteenth be a reminder that freedom is not just a historical milestone for us, but a continuous journey. As black women, our fight for freedom extends beyond physical emancipation. A lot of us need to get free from relationships, free from the thoughts and expectations of others, and free from our own doubts and fears. When you can be free of all of that, that's real freedom. I wanna share a couple of stories about some sisters who really embody living unapologetically for themselves. These are women who have pursued their passions, they've prioritized their well being, and they've stepped out of the comfort zone to live authentically. The first one you may know as the gallivanting grandma. I know her as Diamond Crystal. I had the pleasure of having her on the podcast last season when we met up in Costa Rica. Sis left a decades long marriage, a job, a house, all kind of goodies to become a professional international house sitter or as she would put it, to pursue peace. That is the number one thing she talks about every time I talk to her is the peace that she's gained from this experience. In fact, she started a company called uh, Power Peace and it features t-shirts and um, I've seen her with a face mask and different things for her home. On her website, she describes it as Power Peace, a a high quality apparel and home goods line for those determined to live their holistically best lives harnessing the power of peace within. I absolutely love her story, honey. Another incredible story of a woman living unapologetically fly is yours truly. (laughs) I too stepped out of the comfort zone, learned to prioritize myself and do what I needed to do to, to secure my own peace. Peace, freedom, joy, all those good things. You cannot put a price on any of that. It's all about prioritizing self-care. So many of us as black women, we grew up watching our mothers take care of everybody, take care of a whole household of people after coming home from work and even taking care of their siblings sometimes, their parents. Our mothers 
a lot of times put everybody else first. So of course we could, we would naturally grow up thinking that that's the way life needs to be, right? I remember my mom, she was a big shopper. But one thing I do not recall ever seeing her do was take a personal day, like a spa day or go on a vacation without us or without my dad. I never saw her do that. Not that she didn't have the means, but it just probably was something that did not occur to her. Never one time saw her do a self-care day. This was just not a thing back then. But that's something I really want us to work to change the narrative on. Prioritizing self-care is not selfish. But if it is selfish, then selfish is a good thing. And we need to change the definition. We need to change what we think and we feel when we hear that word. Because everybody else wants us to put them first. That is isn't so not fair. So how can we start living unapologetically for ourselves? One, prioritize self-care like you prioritize taking care of your children, your mate, your pet, your parents, whoever. You're a black woman, I know you put somebody else ahead of you. Make time for activities that nourish your soul, sis. Whether it's meditation, exercise, reading, journaling, journaling or simply resting, sleeping in not answering the phone like just don't especially if it's somebody you don't want to talk to or if it's at the time that you don't feel like talking self-prioritization make it a necessity because it is number two i'm gonna say is pursue your passions don't let fear or doubt hold you back it's not too late until it is too late i remember i once upon a time i wanted to dance on a pole and I'm not talking about like, you know, on a stage and that. I'm talking about for fitness. Cause I just felt like that level of strength, being able to pull your own body up, that was just empowering to me. And at the time, my husband was not support in support of me doing that, which is really crazy because I was just trying to do it at home in our house. But anyway, um, so I just didn't do it. Like I used to always want to get this pole installed in the garage. And I was like, if you empty some space, you know, make some space in the garage, I could do this. And it never happened. So, I mean, I'm thinking, you know, it's a little too late. Like, I don't really feel like developing that level of strength, but then I don't know, maybe it's never too late. Like I said, um, but anyway, don't do that. Don't, don't let what somebody else does or doesn't do stop you from being and doing and having whatever you want because that feeling it never goes away that feeling of the thing that you lost or missed out on it never goes away so you might want to change careers or pursue a dream girl just do it just do it because you won't regret doing it but you will regret regret not doing it let me say that again you won't regret doing it but you will regret not doing it. And number three is build your community. Surround yourself with supportive, like-minded individuals who lift you up and inspire you. If you are outgrowing your circle, like there's nobody in your circle that lifts you up, challenges you, inspires you, it's time to rebuild your circle. That's what the Well Diva Sisterhood is for. We're a like-minded tribe of women who do way more than just travel together. The ladies really are like family. So Juneteenth, it's about supporting and uplifting each other within the black community. That's another thing. One way you can do that is by supporting a black owned business. Make a conscious effort to buy from and promote black owned businesses. All you have to do sometimes is just like, subscribe, share, make a comment, I mean, that's free, like, like that's absolutely free. It, it costs you like 45 seconds to do that. And you know you spend way more time than that just scrolling and laughing at stupid videos. So like, subscribe, share, make a comment when you see black owned businesses posting and posting <laughs> and trying to get your attention. You may not buy anything, but just that simple like, subscribe, share all that it really really means a lot for us well diva is a black owned business at welldiva.com feel free to go there and support 
Power Piece that I mentioned earlier is a black owned brand. If you go to the Gallivanting Grandma and click on Power Piece, you'll see some wonderful things there that you can uh, purchase and support her business. As we celebrate Juneteenth, let's also honor the legacy of those who fought for our freedom by continuing to fight for our own personal freedoms. When you strive to live unapologetically, you create your own freedom. And that right there is an act of self-love. All right, y'all. Thank you for joining me for this special Juneteenth edition of Unapologetically Fly. Let's embrace our freedom, live for ourselves, and continue to uplift each other. Thank you for watching. Now be sure to like, subscribe, share with your besties, and tell me what topics would you like more of in the comments below so I know I'm not just sitting here talking to myself. If you enjoyed this content and you want even more, be sure to access the extended version on Apple, Spotify, and wherever you listen to podcasts. I also invite you to join me in the Well Divas on one of our unapologetically fly wellness travel experiences. Visit WellDiva.com and select someplace wonderful to meet up with us. Until next time, stay unapologetically fly.